Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm reviewing this hair from Lavi Hair. Um, first of all, I'm just going to show you how it looks. So this is like a 10 minute hair and 10 minute makeup look. Just a cute little refreshed look. But anyways, that's what the, look, the wig looks like inside. So I'm just going to put some foundation on the lace and I'm going to cut the lace. And there we go, that's it on my head. It is looking kind of like a hot mess at the moment, but we can fix that. So all we need is just mousse. The mousse I'll, um, I've used, I'll list it all down below because I am rubbish with names. So I'm literally just parting it. I made it into a middle part because I missed having the middle part, so I'm going to do that today. And I'm just literally lathering it with some mousse, and then I'm just going to lay it down with my headband. So for the makeup look, this will just be quick and simple. I'm using the Maybelline. Um, pour a razor and I'm just putting that on where I've got like big pores <laughs> and then I'm using the NYX foundation um, this is in the colour cappuccino and I'm just using it all over my face I love this foundation for a natural look like it literally is my skin tone it's just beautiful so um, yeah so uh, now I am going in with this Fenty Beauty concealer I haven't used this in a minute, I probably only used it once and I actually, you know, I've been sleeping on this concealer because I really do like it, especially if you're going for a natural look and for um, a concealer to stay all day, then this is the way forward. And I just like how it just doesn't basically, like it gives me a highlight but it doesn't really give me a highlight, does that make, does that make sense? So it just brightens up my face but it doesn't really brighten up my face. <laughs> but um, yeah. That's what I put on. And then I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty. Um, this is the contour stick. I'll list down all the shades which I use below. And I'm just using the same damp um, Real Techniques sponge to blend that all in. So then for the powder, I am using this powder right here. I can't remember the name at the moment, but I do like this powder. I've never used this before. Um, but it's given me a lovely, lovely finish. So now this is this um, eyeshadow palette, which I can't remember the name, Juvia's Place, there we go. And I'm using this kind of like brown and orange shade mixed together just to give it kind of like more depth, depth to my crease, but yet brighten up a bit, do you know what I mean? <laughs> and then I'm going in with my all-time favourite bronzer, the CoverGirl Everybody Bronzer. And then I'm going in with the NYX finish, Finishing Powder, which I'll list down below. Also, don't worry, it'll be all in the description bar. And then I'm going in with some um, mascara and I'm just applying that. There's going to be no falsies today because this is a natural look. I'm going in with this NYX blush as well which I've never used but I quite like it. It gave me like, kind of like a rose kind of look. There's a fake smile. <laughs> and then for my highlight I'm going in with the Laura Giller. I can't remember. Laura Giller. How do you pronounce this guys? Right? It's the Gilded Honey. Laura something Gilded Honey. Alright? Sorry. But um, yeah, I like this, um, this is a, it's a hit and miss for me to be honest with you, but I liked it today. So now for my lip liner, this is a MAC, this is called Double Fudge, and I really like this because I'm getting bored of my MAC chestnut, so I thought I'd switch it up a bit. So then this is Velvet Teddy by MAC also, and I really like these two combined. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my makeup. And then now I took the headband off, now it's kind of low-key laid flat on my head. So now I'm just going in with some powder just to define the parting space a bit more and that's it. I'm now finger combing it out and we're literally good to go. This is the finished look right here. Alright, so hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been a minute since I've actually like sat down and spoken to you guys um, without doing a voiceover, even though this video will be a voiceover, but that's not my point. <laughs> um, I hope you're doing well, it's been a minute. I've come back from holiday and, and I've had the holiday blues every day since I've come back and it's just, I'm just tired. But anyways, um, this hair is from I Love You Hair. Um, I've reviewed their hair before if I remember correctly. This was probably like a good year ago. Um, they sent me this beautiful wig right here. This is like a deep wave kind of wig and I wanted it to be like a bushy kind of messy kind of thing. That's why I finger combed the curls out so much and I absolutely love it. So this hair I wanted just to show you guys how you can just put on, just put it on and go literally. Unless you want it as a side part or whatever you'd probably have to like 
you'll probably have to like glue down a little bit and do a little bit of plucking just a little bit but because i wanted a middle part i haven't done a middle part in a minute so um i thought why not <laughs> so yeah there's li this is literally like a 10 minute makeup look and 10 minute hair so um yeah this is the first time i'm actually feeling the hair wearing and everything so i can't tell you if it sheds or not um, i would say that the ends could do a bit of chopping right here for some reason there's just like strands just chilling but um since it's a 10 minute makeup look <laughs> 10 minutes is up can't be doing that now <laughs> like i thought this would just be like a refreshing summer kind of look like if you don't really want to beat your face this is just a quick look but you still look wide awake you still look fresh but yeah i'll list all of the links down below where i got this hair um where you can get it and all that good stuff um they're a very nice company the hair is extremely soft i've got no complaints so far but yeah anyways thanks guys for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye